So I just finished doing a microcode update to the BIOS file for the newly acquired ASUS P5E3 Pro motherboard. This motherboard uses an AMI BIOS. So I'm going to walk you through the uh, fairly easy steps in order to update your microcode on these motherboards to correctly support the LGA 771 processor. Now, um, from what I can tell, uh, all motherboards that work with this do not need the microcode update to actually turn on. Um, however, a lot of motherboards will come up and say uh, you need to do a BIOS update in order to unleash the full power of the processor or if they don't give you any kind of errors at all you may find that your SSE 4 and the uh, virtual technology uh, does not show up when you run CPU Z. So in order to enable that stuff and to get rid of the uh, message that you need to unleash your, your full potential, um, you need to do a microcode update for the LGA 771 processor that you've just installed into your socket 775 motherboard. And so this uh, message board uh, has a post on the exact steps needed in order to uh, add the microcode update. You need to download your BIOS bin file to your computer first and then uh, you need to download uh, three things. Uh, one is uh, the uh, BIOS tool that will allow you to add the microcode update to the file and then you'll need to obviously download a, a flash program of some sort otherwise you'll need to use your uh, flash uh, inside of the BIOS itself, your quick flash if you have that. Uh, and then the other thing is you're going to have to obviously uh, also download the uh, uh, the bin files that contain the microcode updates uh, for the processors. Now uh, there are three bin files and you can see them right there that I've downloaded uh, and all these files like I said are on this message board and there will be a link to this message board at the bottom of this video's description down below. Um, however I'm going to show you real quickly here. Now I've already done the uh, insertion of the new microcode files so I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through the steps now again this is for the AMI BIOS uh, this message board does uh, list also the necessary steps in order to do it for an award BIOS uh, and everything listed right here uh, what I did for mine uh, my gigabyte board used an award BIOS uh, what I did was I just went ahead and copy and pasted all these commands into a, into a uh, batch file and then I went ahead and uh, edited my files necessary uh, for this thing to be able to recognize them. Gave them the correct uh, file names that are right here so I didn't have to uh, edit that. And then just ran, went ahead and ran the batch file and poof came out the correct uh, award BIOS file that I needed in order to flash. So uh, that's how I did that. <clears throat> so. In this particular video, I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's not the one I'm working on right now. On the AMI BIOS, it is extremely easy to do this, folks. The award BIOS is easy once you make the batch file. Um, so what you want to do uh, is you want to go ahead. I'm just going to do, a, do this from scratch here. So we want to go ahead and load our, our ROM file if my mouse will cooperate with me. So right here I have the uh, P5E3 Pro. ROM file, the latest one. You can also download a, a beta version of their of your BIOS if you want to, but I prefer to use just the um, the last officially stable released one. So I got the bin file loaded up here, and as you can see, you're seeing some of the information inside of that uh, BIOS file there. Uh, so we'll go over here to the CPU patch tab up here. We'll click on that, and then we'll go ahead and hit browse and we'll browse for the bin files that I already downloaded and there are three of them so you can see them right here the CPU the ones that start with CPU right here and of course because I have VLC installed on here it shows up as a VLC icon so uh, you just want to go ahead and do the first one and you want to do each one of these one at a time and select that and do open apply and you're done. Now if you'll take a look at the bottom here on this particular BIOS uh, I had 31 lines of information here. Now I have 32. And on the on the message board itself it has a picture here 
showing you the three codes that you should have once you're all said and done. So we're going to go ahead, we'll do the next one here. Select that one, open, apply. It can't be simpler than this, folks. It's very, very easy to do this since the files have already been created for you. And just go ahead and do the third one and click apply. And now we have the three files necessary in order to correctly recognize our LJ771 chips. Now, um, this patch will recognize uh, all of the 5400 series as well as the 33X3 series, which is what I installed in this motherboard. So we'll just go ahead and save ROM. I'm going to save it as, so I still have the original one here. I'm just going to go ahead and select that, and we'll rename it to uh, something shorter than this. Um, we'll see P5E3 uh, mod, if I can type here with one hand, and see what I'm typing. Uh, mod, and I'm just going to delete the little, delete everything else here, I guess because I know that that's the latest file. Just go ahead and save. And we'll go ahead and close this. Now I have my bin file, or my ROM file, I should say, to go ahead and flash into the BIOS. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the system down here, and we'll go ahead. No, I'm, I'm on the wrong computer, dang it. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my thumb drive, which I have right here, as I just dropped it this on my thumb drive this is already made to be a bootable drive but it's not necessary because I'm just going to use the uh, easy flash of the BIOS itself and put that on the motherboard and we'll see what we've got going on there so I'll show you here what the uh, BIOS error message is when you need to do a microcode update one of them anyway that comes up quite frequently for people Telling you need to unleash the full power, please perform a BIOS update. So we're going to do that right now. So we'll just go into tools here, do the ASUS Easy Flash. Yes, I want to start the utility. And you can see my thumb drive here. And there's the file we just modded. Yes, I'm quite positive I want to flash the latest BIOS, which this motherboard already has, but no, it doesn't. It's one version behind, actually, so that's cool. Update done. Cool. And if everything goes well, and it looks like it is, we should have no more error message. I've really got to disable this. Yep, took care of the error message. So we'll be back in just a second here. And here we are all booted up. As you can see it's recognizing the Xeon X3363 Yorkfield processor. And we have the SSC 4.1 and the VMX recognized. Which actually it said that before. And it's kind of strange because CPU Z in Windows will actually only go up to SSC 3 until you do the microcode update. So there we go. Take care, everyone. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing all my videos. And again, if you'd like to know more about this mod and keep up to date with the latest and greatest, check out the message board at the bottom of this video's description. Thanks, everyone.